The human toll of the mortgage crisis is only part of the story. Here's contributor Ben Stein. There are many players and victims in the current housing debacle. Some of them are not innocent. Wall Street swindlers peddling junky mortgage-backed securities, homeowners who bid off more home than they could chew, greedy mortgage brokers who talk people into buying tricky mortgages they couldn't afford, wild-eyed flippers hoping to ride the thin film of the bubble. The government is throwing our tax dollars at many of these people. Billions, of course, for Wall Street. Them that has gets, that's the old story. Billions more for homeowners to stay in their houses. Even $200 million for mortgage counseling. But where is the taxpayer money for the absolutely most innocent victims of the housing bubble? The dogs and cats abandoned by owners fleeing their foreclosed homes or homes they can no longer afford. Realtors report coming to houses and condos to find poor, pitiful, abandoned, whimpering, meowing, starving dogs and cats, maybe with some toys and a leash. Shelters report being swamped with these dogs and cats who only offer love and got so horribly mistreated in return. Look, I pay tax just like you, and I hate it just like you, and I hate deficits too. But if there is any group of creatures on this planet that I want my tax bucks to go to, it's abandoned dogs and kitties. How about some federal moolah for them? Not one of them is guilty of anything bad. They're all innocent. How about a tax credit for families who adopt them or any other shelter, rescue, dog, or cat? How about federal aid for local shelters taking in foreclosure dogs and cats? Aside from paying our brave men, is there anything morally more compelling than helping innocent dogs and kitties find new loving homes? Is there any more moral bang for the buck? I don't think so. Please, Mr. Bush, Mr. Reed, and Ms. Pelosi, blow some of that federal money to dogs and kitties' way. They are our best friends. Commentary from Ben Stein.